So we're going to do a series of exercises with the stretch ease all for the core. The stretch ease is a nylon lycra loop. It comes in a variety of sizes invented by Kimberly Dye of Dynamic Movement. And we're going to show you how you can really enhance some Pilates exercises, get better form just by using the stretch ease. So what we're going to do is Kimberly's going to take this over her head. We're doing the back foot X wrap. So it's going to be around her back. She's going to cross it once. I'm slow. Sorry. Yes, that's okay. <laughs> and then loop it around her feet as well. So now what this does, you can maybe even see from the start position that it creates a connection between the torso and between the legs. So you automatically feel that synergistic movement between the two body parts. So she's going to start just breathing. So now because the stretchies is wrapped around the back, just breathing into the sides and back of the ribs. Inhale here and exhale one more time just like this. And now because the stretch ease is here as well, the legs are automatically energized. So you don't have to think, oh my gosh, what do I do with my legs? Because you have a resistance there, you just want to meet the resistance and feel that energy in the legs. So now roll back up to a nice seated position. We're going to do two more breaths here. Take an inhale and exhale. So with the stretch ease wrapped around the back, it's less likely, not impossible, it's less likely that the breath will go into the shoulders or into the ribs because you have a tactile cue of where to put the breath. Okay, and now we'll start our sequence. So she's going to roll down nice and slowly, roll down, and then immediately she's going to take her legs overhead and go into a rollover, and from there, lifting the legs up on the exhale. Good, now inhale, start to roll down. As she rolls down, she's going to reach her hands to the stretches if she needs to go into the teaser. Yes, we'll fix that bobble on the next one. And then the legs come down, going into a spine stretch forward. But that's one thing that the stretches is really great for. And then rolling down again. Rolling down and setting the legs overhead. Up into the air on the exhale. For the jackknife. Yes, for the jackknife. Inhale, start to roll down. And the exhale, using the resistance to help coming up <laughs> there. Lovely. Oh, okay. And then legs come down and over. And we will do that one more time. So into our roll down. Don't grab my legs. <laughs> Rolling down and legs come overhead. Exhale, take a little sip of air here. And then exhale, send the legs to the ceiling. Really use the stretchies for that resistance. Rolling down and then reaching <laughs> up. Lovely. And then the legs come down and reaching over into spine stretch forward. So let's go back to the spine stretch forward position and really facilitate the use of the stretchy so you get that oppositional feeling. So you're keeping your pelvis nice and vertical. You're reaching this way and you're using the stretchies to get that scoop in the abs there. And then we're going to sit nice and tall from that position. Lovely. And now we're going to go into the spine stretch side. So Kimberly's going to reach her arms out to the side, take one arm overhead, and now facilitating the use of the stretchies to press into this side. So again, you're not collapsing over. You're thinking of lengthening and lifting out of this side as you bend to the other side, and then the other way. And side bending over, and now you're taking the breath into this side of the stretchies as well. And now she's going to reach her arms out to the side and we're going to do a nice spine twist. So she's going to lengthen through the top of the head, inhale, 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 exhale, rotate. Again, the legs stay energized. You want to feel the stretchies on both sides of the ribs evenly. You don't want to collapse and go into a uh, lateral flexion here. So you can feel that opposition. Exhale to center and one more time. Rotate, 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 a migrating ball and and now taking that directly into the saw. So she's gonna open her legs just a little bit wider to shoulder distance. Inhale and exhale, top of the head leads the way. Again, just like the spine stretch forward, you're using the resistance back into the stretchies, that tactile cue to where the breath should go, and then back to center. And then inhale, rotate, exhale over, scooping, scooping, scooping. And as always, arm pulling this way and sitting nice and tall. Let's do one more time each way. And rotate and scooping and stacking the vertebra one on top of the other and one more side can't leave us uneven and again really facilitating the use of the stretchies to create that feeling of opposition so you're not collapsing over your leg and now we get to go into open leg rocker so we'll keep ourselves in the little x wrap Kimberly's going to come forward just a smidgen bring her legs up and hold the stretchies here and here we go we'll just do three of these so she's going to inhale coming back and then exhale use the band to help everything come up and inhale back and exhale, really scoop rib to hip connection coming up. Yes, and one more time. Inhale and exhale to come up. Lovely. 
open leg rocker, teaser, these are hard exercises for us, but the stretchies has been very helpful in getting the proper positioning and figuring out exactly how it should work, which sometimes actually makes it more difficult because you can't cheat as much. Okay, so we're going into the neck pull. So we're gonna have Kimberly take this off and lift it up, and then she's going to slide her hands through each side of the loop and then place it behind her head. And this is another one of our favorite exercises. So, but one thing that's really nice about this exercise with the stretchies is you'll have your head meet the resistance of the stretchy, so you're never going to pull. You want to think of a little bit of pressure back so you keep the length in the back of the neck. So her elbows are reaching nice and wide. The head is meeting the resistance of the stretchies. She's gonna take a roll down from here. Sometimes the eccentric work on the neck pull can be just as effective as the concentric work. So she's gonna take a nice slow <laughs> neck pull. On the way up, we're gonna go a little bit faster, rolling up and rolling up there. That, that was lovely actually. And then rolling up from here. And once again, focusing on the eccentric <laughs> contraction. Yeah, the head flip is definitely part of the exercise. That's a joke. Good. And then curling up again. Her ribs are going to slide down as she curls up. Yes. We all have our nemesis exercise. And so we always say the gods of Pilates are fair. But the stretchies definitely facilitates the correct positioning. Okay. And you can stay down. Okay. And you're like, yeah, I don't okay. have to do another one. And can you stay down and come this way a little bit? Yes. Yes. That's the inchworm. <laughs> joke. That was a joke too. Okay, so she, Kimberly's going to bring one leg up into tabletop and then the other leg up into tabletop with a nice imprinted position. If you can do this in neutral, great, but you want to make sure that your lower back is supported. Now she's going to inhale, lengthen the back of the neck, curl the head and shoulders off and go into double leg stretch. So legs reach away and then curl up and you can curl up even higher. Yes. And reach and curling up. Just three more. Reach and curling up. Two more. Lovely. Reach and curling up one more time reach and curling now we'll go into the crisscross elbows stay nice and wide here you're going to rotate one way doesn't matter good what's nice about doing the crisscross with the stretchies is we always cue as instructors not to bring the elbow across the body now with the elbows wide you really get the feeling of armpit to knee and you don't really get to experience that because you don't have resistance on your arms so that's something new that we get to do with the stretchies that we wouldn't otherwise get to do lovely and now bring your little knees into your chest and then set your head and shoulders down. One leg comes down and the other leg comes down and you have earned a stretch. Yay, so you can hop up. Oh, yes. <laughs> and we are going to do a psoas stretch. We're going to put the knee on a small ball just to protect the knee so it's to alleviate any discomfort. So she'll start with her right knee on. We're used to doing this on hardwood floors. <laughs> so our, our patella usually, patellae take a beating. Yes. And so she's gonna reach forward. And now that you've done all this core activation and the core work, of course your abs are engaged to protect the lower back. Do it wrong for a second, going into too much lumbar extension. Yeah, so you really wanna make this about opening up the front of the hip for the psoas stretch. And then you can switch legs. Should be challenging. <laughs> yes. And the ball matches your top and my top too and reaching for it. And that is, that's a really nice stretch with the ball actually. Yeah, okay. So that was the core series with the stretchies. We hope you enjoyed it.